In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the area of a square. So here we have a square, and let's say the side length is 8. What is the area of the square? Now you need to know that all four sides of a square is the same. And the area of a square, just like a rectangle, it's length times width. Or you could say s squared because the side lengths are the same. The length and the width are the same. So the area of this square is just 8 squared. 8 times 8 is 64. So let's say if it was 8 feet, the area would be 64 square feet. And so that's it. That's how you can calculate the area of a square. But now let's go over some other problems that are associated with calculating the area of a square. Now what would you do if you saw a problem like this. Let's say you have a square and the side length is x plus 2. What is the area of this particular square? So go ahead and think about it. Feel free to pause the video. Now just like before, the area of a square is the length times the width or side squared. And the side length is x plus 2. So it's x plus 2 squared. Now you can leave your answer like this or you could FOIL it. x plus 2 squared is x plus 2 times itself, another x plus 2. So if we FOIL, we need to multiply x by x. And so that's x squared. And then x times 2, that's going to be 2x. And then 2 times x is also 2x. And then we have 2 times 2, which is 4. Now let's combine like terms. 2x plus 2x is 4x. So we could say that the area of the square in terms of x is x squared plus 4x plus 4. So you can leave your answer like this, or you can expand it and write it this way. Now let's try another example. Let's say if we're given the perimeter of the square. Let's say it's 32 units. What is the area of the square? given the perimeter. So let's say this is s, 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 s. The perimeter is the sum of all four sides. So it's s plus s plus s plus s four times. If you add s four times, it's the same as s times four, or 4s. So given the perimeter, we can calculate the side length. The perimeter is 32. And so the side length is just going to be 32 divided by 4 which is 8. So now that we have the side length, we can calculate the area of the square. And so it's just going to be s squared, or 8 squared. So this is going to be 64 square units. So that's what you need to do if you're given the perimeter and if you wish to calculate the area of a square. The length of the diagonal of a square is 100 inches. What is the area of the square? So let's start with a picture. So this is 100. And let's call this S and S. And notice that we have a right triangle. According to the Pythagorean theorem, we know that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So C is the hypotenuse, which is 100. A is S and B is S. s squared plus s squared is 2s squared. And so 2s squared is equal to 100 squared. And 100 times 100 is 10,000. So now let's divide both sides by 2. So s squared is 5,000. Now the area of a square we know is s squared. So since we already have s squared, we can say that the area of the square is 5,000. So that's how you can calculate the area of the square given the length of the diagonal. Now let's see if we can come up with an equation that relates the area of a square directly to the diagonal. So we saw that the diagonal squared was equal to s squared plus s squared. And the diagonal squared was equal to, uh, let's see, s squared plus s squared is 2s squared. And area is s squared. So d squared is equal to 2 times a if we replace this with a. 
So then we just got to divide by 2. So the area of a square is 1 half times the square of the diagonal. So in our example, that was 1 half times 100 squared, which gave us 5,000.